Game Boy is an instantly recognizable Nintendo family of handhelds that define the late 80s, 90s, and early 2000s of video gaming. With a library of quality games that could easily fit into your pocket, Nintendo led the handheld market ever since the original Game Boy, and continues to with their highly successful 3DS family of systems. So while the evolution of Nintendo's released handhelds is instantly recognizable, there was one project in the works that no one has ever played, and in fact, not many people even know of its existence. Understandably so, the project itself was never released and fell into obscurity, but had it seen fruition, it could have changed the entire course of handheld history. So the question now is what project could have possibly altered the handheld history so drastically? Well, at the 2009 Game Developers Conference, Masato Kuwahara showcased a never-before-seen image of an unfamiliar handheld that he had helped develop. This never-released piece of hardware is only known as Project Atlantis. Beginning development in 1995, Project Atlantis was the codename given to this top secret project which was intended to be a successor to the original Game Boy, which, in reality, ended up being the Game Boy Advance. This accounts for the common misconception that the GBA's codename was Project Atlantis when it wasn't. Fittingly, it was Advanced Game Boy. After only one year of development time, 1996 gave way to many rumors and reports about this Project Atlantis from magazines such as Electronic Gaming Monthly and Game Informer that detailed the specs of the handheld, including that it was a 32-bit color handheld, had four phase buttons, a 3-inch by 2-inch LCD color screen, and was allegedly planned to release in late 1996 or early 1997. In light of these rumors, Nintendo did confirm the handheld's existence in 1996, but never released any details and pushed its release until the end of 1997, where it again failed to actually release. While the Game Boy Pocket padded Project Atlantis's delay, Nintendo was ultimately unsatisfied with Atlantis's performance, eventually deciding that the handheld was too big, too powerful, and too expensive to manufacture, effectively killing development on the handheld. This cancellation supports additional rumors that suggest Atlantis's power was comparable to that of the Nintendo 64. Plus, the 1996 specs that were reported closely resemble the final GBA and act as evidence towards the connection between Atlantis ultimately becoming the Game Boy Advance that we know today. So Project Atlantis is pretty interesting in itself, because of course it never being released means that it was never playable to the public, and that alone will forever make Nintendo fans wish they could have got their hands on it. While the handheld itself was said to be much more powerful than the actual GBA that was released, the real gain here would have been being able to experience games of much higher quality in 1997 than what the Game Boy Color saw. And that means Nintendo as well as other companies would have probably pushed the limits of their future consoles sooner, possibly even allowing unreleased materials such as the Game Boy Color touchscreen and the 3D mode of the GameCube to actually see release. So like all minor event changes in history, Atlantis releasing could have drastically altered our future of video games. But that's not the only mystery Atlantis has to offer, and this is where the real mystery begins. While an unreleased handheld is pretty mysterious stuff, it's fair to say we know a decent amount of information surrounding Atlantis, and I don't think the gameplay itself would have been too different, only the place and time would have been. So all things considered, it's not really much of a mystery, but more of a philosophical what if. But an unreleased game? Now that's a mystery if I've ever heard of one, especially in this case. Alongside the rumors regarding Project Atlantis' specs in 1996, Electronic Gaming Monthly, and only Electronic Gaming Monthly to my knowledge, reported on a title being developed for release on Atlantis as a launch title for the system. This game was simply called Mario's Castle and was being developed by Nintendo. Instantly intrigued by this title, I searched the internet for any other mention or information regarding Mario's Castle, and much to my disappointment, I found nothing. Considering Atlantis had been in development allegedly from 1995 to 1998, it's not entirely unreasonable to assume Nintendo had really tried to get Atlantis finished and decided to start working on software for it, since I highly doubt the magazine conjured this game up out of thin air. For the fun of it, I checked out other launch titles for the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance, just thinking it may have been reworked into something else, but none of them sounded anything like what would be called Mario's Castle. While I doubt the name was final, there are actually no games for any system that I can think of that would strike me as once being called Mario's Castle. The only anything I could recall was a GameCube tech demo called Peach's Castle, but that was just a 3D tour of her castle, and I highly doubt it was related to Mario's Castle at all. 
So we really have no concrete idea of what this game was or how far along into development it got, if it got any development at all. Considering how well Nintendo kept Project Atlantis hidden for more than 10 years, there could actually be Mario's castle assets locked deep away in Nintendo's vault, awaiting the right time to be revealed. So at the end of the day, we're left with an unreleased console and an equally unreleased game, both of which will never see the light of day in their true form, which makes you wonder what exactly this hardware and software would have been like had it seen fruition, especially in the late 90s. Entire franchises could have been different, the handheld market could have been different, and maybe Nintendo would have taken out more competition than just Sega in the early 2000s. But for now, Project Atlantis and Mario's Castle will remain a mystery.